Hey everyone, welcome back to Alleyways, or if it's your first time here, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video, and if you haven't already, please, please, please make sure to join the Alleyways family. Subscribe to my channel, give this video a big thumbs up, and turn on post notifications, not only so you know when I have new content, but also so I can include you in my subscriber shout out. This is my special way of thanking and acknowledging each and every one of you. I love the community here on Alleyways so much. You all bring so much joy to my life. I am going to be shouting out a very special subscriber at the end of today's video, so make sure you stay tuned until the end in case that's you. Okay, for today's video, I am so excited to be bringing you all a Pink Lily Boutique haul. These pieces are featured in one of their new collections, and then some of these are from some of the more recent collections and collaborations that they've done. I absolutely love everything that I got, and I know you all will too. As always, um, links to all these items will be in the description box down below. It helps me out a ton if you use those. I will also include my personal measurements and the sizes I ordered all of these in, so you can use that as a reference when you're shopping. If you have any questions, let me know, but let's not wait anymore. Let's go ahead and jump right into our first piece. Okay, first up, we have this maxi dress. I saw this on the website and I just absolutely loved it. It's kind of an interesting tie-dye pattern. I've never seen this particular pattern before. I love the white stripes going through. I'm gonna come up close so you all can see the kind of taupey color and then a really kind of soft brown. Um, yeah, it's reading really true on camera. I thought the colors were really nice and neutral. The pattern was really interesting. And I loved that it has slits on both sides. That makes it a little bit extra sassy. It has these nice little soft straps. And in the back, it's kind of like a racer back cut, which I really liked. I just thought that this was so summery. It was different, it was interesting. It is really comfortable, which I couldn't tell from the photo whether or not it was going to be, but it feels like pajamas on, which I love. I actually got this for my trip to Turks and Caicos, and so I can't wait to wear this. I think I'm gonna wear it to one of our dinners on the beach. It just has like a really summery vibe to me, really comfortable, and I think it's actually really flattering on. I just absolutely love it and it is totally opaque, which is nice too. I always try and mention that if there's anything that has portions of white. So really, really love this. Might be one of my favorite pieces. All right, next up, I got this outfit. These come as separates. I absolutely love this. I saw a ton of people on Instagram get this whenever this collection dropped, and I just thought it looked like something I would truly wear all the time. I'm somebody who just likes to be comfortable day to day. And if I can find outfits that are comfortable that look like I'm still putting effort in, that's the best possible scenario for me. I'm gonna come up close so you all can see. The color is just a really nice, basic, taupey beige. It is ribbed. It's actually kind of a silky fabric. Um, whenever I saw it on the website, I thought it was gonna be cottony, and it's not. It's actually a little bit lighter, silkier, um, has a little bit of a sheen to it. I really like it. It's really comfortable. Again, also feels like wearing pajamas. It does come in other color options, but I just thought this was really cool. Earth tones have been really big for, gosh, about a year now, and I really liked this. I really like the detail in the top, so you can see it's almost like a square neck with just a little cut out here, but it's not too low, which I like, and then there's plenty of coverage in the back. And the pants are just the right length. I've got them pulled down a little lower so it looks a little bit more cropped. I could always fold this under if I wanted more of a cropped look. But I'm 5'6", and with the pants being right at my belly button, they just hit the ground, which is perfect because I'll probably wanna wear this look with tennis shoes uh, or sandals. And so I don't have to worry about hemming them, which is really, really nice. If you're somebody who is taller, you could wear them not as high-waisted and be totally fine. But I just thought that this was a really kind of chic, elevated, comfortable look. And I know realistically one that I'm going to wear all the time. One thing that I really like about Pink Lily Boutique that I always try and mention is their quality is so good. A lot of times with my comfortable clothes, after just a couple washes, they're pilling. Um, and that never has happened to me with Pink Lily. So that's a big plus. Uh, for shopping there, but I love this set. I like it so much, I'm gonna have to look at it in other colors as well. 
Okay, let's put on our next look. So I am somebody who loves to wear dresses, rompers, and jumpsuits because how little effort you really have to put in. When I saw this one on the Pink Lily Boutique website, I just thought about how nice this would be to have for the summer, just to throw one piece on, have a cute look, be able to run out the door and not really think about putting an outfit together. They have this, I believe, in other color options as well. I'll come up close so you can see. It's a really soft kind of gray. It's not exactly heathered, but it does have a little kind of texture to it. It has a faux drawstring waist, so this isn't actually functional. It doesn't um, really have like a custom cinch. I think with this piece, I probably could have sized down. It's just fitting a little bit bigger than I usually try and do my clothes. And I think that's probably because this doesn't actually cinch. So if you're looking at this, consider sizing down. But it is really, really soft, stretchy fabric. It does have pockets. You all know how much I love pockets. Again, with the pant length, it's really, really nice. This one is a little bit longer than our taupe set, but again, not excessively long. And as somebody who is 5'6", I find that a lot of times that's an issue. These just dust the ground. And I really, really loved the cut on the top. So it is a halter jumpsuit, which I thought just made it seem a little bit dressier almost. And I just thought it would be cute and easy for summer. I think we all need things like this that are comfortable and simple, but make you still, like I said earlier, look like you're putting some effort in. It's really, really comfy, super cute. I'll probably wear it with tennis shoes, but if I wanted to dress it up, I could. I could throw on some heels and some nice accessories and, you know, even wear it out on a date. I really love it. Um, I don't know if you all can see, but it actually does have buttons in the halter right here that I thought were really beautiful as well, just kind of an added detail. And then I should mention this necklace is also from Pink Lily Boutique. It was featured in one of my past hauls, but I have been wearing it nonstop. I absolutely love it. Yes, two thumbs up for this look. Next up, we have another jumpsuit, but this one's just a little bit dressier. I love to have casual ones to go run errands in, to meet up with friends in, but Especially in the summer, I feel like we have weddings, more dates, events, vacation. There's more reasons I feel like to dress up and having a great dressy jumpsuit is so, so wonderful. Again, because it's the ease of styling. So this one is a bit dressier um, because one, the fabric and then two, the detail. I'm gonna come up close so you all can see. Right here on the waist, there is this little sash. Now you could tie this in the back if you wanted. You could tie it in a big dramatic bow if you wanted. I really like how this dresses that up and gives it some options for how you could style it differently. It has these little thin spaghetti straps that are adjustable. They have a little piece back here where you can pull them up or down to really give you more of a custom fit. And then the pants on these are longer. So as you can see, they're more than just skimming the floor, they're kind of puddling and that's perfect because if I was wearing this out, I would want to wear it with heels. So pairing this with a nice pair of nude heels for an event in the summer, I think would be really great. And having something that's simple, black, great clean lines with a dramatic touch is perfect for any occasion. You can add personality with the accessories that you choose, but it's going to be appropriate and universally flattering, which I love. Um, also, it's really comfortable. It's well lined. Uh, it does not have pockets, but that's okay because you're probably going to be carrying a handbag with this look. Okay, I'm going to move the camera and we're going to go into some of our other looks. Next up, both of these pieces are from Pink Lily. I featured these shorts in a previous haul. I love these. I think we all need a great basic pair of white shorts for the summer. I think it's a summer wardrobe staple. Love these. They have the paper bag waist, they have pockets, and they're a really nice blend. They're not just denim. They actually have a softness and a stretch to them that makes them really, really nice. And they are lined with a really nice, comfortable fabric, which, like I said earlier, is just so important whenever you're working with any white in your wardrobe. The new piece is this top. So this is a cotton knit sweater tank. It is really, really just so good and luxurious on. I'm gonna come up close so y'all can see the pattern. I really love these stripes. There's yellow, white, 
and then kind of like a burnt orange rusty color. Something about this felt very reminiscent of old fashioned beach style to me. Um, with a 70s color palette. I really like it, it felt really classic. I love the sweet little ties on the shoulders. I tied them in bows. You can see it's the same kind of level across the back. This just felt, I don't know, like a, like a great summer staple to have. I think it is really cute and flattering and really easy to style. I could put it on with white shorts, white pants, jean shorts, jeans. Um, I could dress it up or down. And I just, I love it. Something just feels very vintage about it. And it's also really super comfortable. So this has to be one of my favorite pieces. As always, let me know what is your favorite in the comments down below. One thing I do want to point out, um, since you've kind of seen it styled, this tank is long. So I'm going to untuck it so you can get an idea. This is not a cropped tank, which I actually prefer. You can see it's very long. Um, I like to have a little length on my tanks so I can style them how I want to. If I was not going to wear this with something high-waisted, I would want the extra length to be able to cover the top of whatever it was that I was wearing. Just as a warning, because I know sometimes everything feels super cropped now, and if that's not your thing, sometimes I'm sure it would be really frustrating to shop with everything being cropped, so just know you have the option of length here. We have another tank top, then one swimsuit, then we're going to shout out some subscribers. So this tank top might look familiar to some of my Alleyways fam, and that is because I featured it in navy in a recent haul. I loved it so much that I wanted to get it in another color. It is the perfect basic tank for some Summer. The fabric is really comfortable. It feels so nice and light. It's not sheer or see-through um, and it's really just great to have a really high quality wardrobe staple. I love this color. It's kind of a really soft whitish gray. It has the really cool wooden buttons that kind of just elevate the feel of it. Um, you can see it's high up in the back, so you don't have to worry about it being too low. It's easy to wear any kind of bra with this. It does have a little bit of ribbing, which I'm sure you saw when I was up close, which I always like. I think it's nice to have some texture with your basics. Makes them feel just a little bit more than like a cami or an undershirt. Again, I'm gonna show you all. This tank top has a lot of length very, very long, both in the front and the back, which I like because I thought the navy one looked so cute tied up and cropped. So we'll just do this. This is a basic knot. Um, I'm sure you could tuck it into your bra and like blouse it out and it would look really cute. But I think even this just looks really nice with our white shorts. Again, there are just an endless number of ways you can style a wardrobe basic like this. And they do have this in a bunch of other colors, so don't be surprised if you see it in a future haul. Okay, now I'm going to put on what might be my favorite piece, and it's our swimsuit. Okay, last but certainly not least, we have this one-piece swimsuit, and this is from the Caitlin Covington collection. If you all don't know her, she's an incredible blogger, and whenever they released this capsule collection, this piece specifically had my jaw on the floor. And I know from the front, it totally looks beautiful. It is a really soft blush. I'm gonna come up super close so you can see. Blush color, one-shoulder swimsuit. Um, I have really pulled the sides up high. Look, they can go all the way down there if you want. For me, I am somebody who has shorter legs and so I really like to pull up the sides of my swimsuit nice and high to give a little more length. <sighs> the thing that took my breath away about this swimsuit is the back. So it has this huge bow in the back. I'm gonna come up really close so you can see all the fabric there. I thought this was one of the cutest swimsuits I'd ever, ever, ever seen. Plenty of bum coverage for my bum coverage crew. A really dramatic low back. I just thought that this was so unique and so beautiful and so elegant. I loved her enti entire capsule collection, but this I think was my absolute favorite piece and I knew I had to have it. I love this so much. It also does come in black if you don't love blush. <sighs> it's so beautiful. I want to mention one more thing and that is my clippy. So this clippy, I hope you guys can see it, is from Pink Lily Boutique. They have lots of really, really great accessories on their website. I 
grew up, my mom used to wear Clippy every day when I was growing up. And so I've always worn them. And I was so happy when they came back in style. But this one is especially beautiful. It's marbled um, and kind of looks pearlescent. It has really great combs. And then on the inside, there's another small set of combs. And it's kind of a material that grabs on and keeps your hair in place without ripping it. And I've been wearing it a lot. It's really, really great. Um, yeah, this might be what I end up wearing most, but let me know which piece is your favorite. Let me know if you have any questions, but for now, let's go shout out some subscribers. I should mention this does have bra cups and is fully lined. Okay, fam, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. I want to give a special thank you to my live chat crew who is here with me. I love you all so much. If you're somebody who is looking for a really kind, loving, and accepting community to be a part of, please join us. I premiere videos every Wednesday and Sunday at 8 p.m. We are always here chatting in real time on the premiere. I love my live chat crew so much. Thank you all. I also want to give a big shout out to Brittany Overstreet. Brittany, you said that you love clothing hauls. You commented on one of my last Pink Lily Boutique hauls. And I just want to say thank you so much. You really encouraged me and brightened my day with your kindness. And I'm so happy you're here and a part of this family. Thank you to the Pink Lily Boutique for your continued generosity. Thank you all so much. I love you and I can't wait to see you next time right here on Alleyways. Bye.